please welcome Acting Secretary of the United States Department of Labor, Julie Su. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and for having me. Um, as the Acting Labor Secretary, I know a very fundamental truth, which is that good jobs change lives. And yesterday, I got to have um, several of you at the Department of Labor to talk about this. And I really appreciated not just the substance of our conversation, but the spirit of it. And I also got to host a panel that talked about how we are and need to be creating good jobs in Indian country and making sure that all communities, including those who've been left behind in the past when good jobs were available, get included. And in that panel, we heard from Cecile Bull Chief, who is a member of the Crow tribe in Eastern Montana, who moved to Seattle. And through a registered apprenticeship, she became a glazier. A glazier is a worker who um, places glass uh, in uh, glass windows in buildings and in doors. And so even as she was learning the trade, because she was in an apprenticeship program, she was being paid while she learned. And she was paid double the minimum wage. And then after graduating from the program, Cecilia got a good job, a union job, that allowed her to support her family as a single mother. As her kids grew up, Cecilia shared how she proudly pointed out all the buildings that she had worked on in the Seattle skyline. And today, Cecilia has two children who are painters, also in good union jobs, and she has one child, her youngest daughter, who is in college and, uh, and studying pre-med. So I will say it again, good jobs change lives. And they do so not just for an individual and her family, but in an intergenerational way that builds intergenerational wealth and pride and opportunity. But at the same time, I have heard loudly and clearly from tribal leaders that for far too long, we have not done enough to create good opportunities and good jobs for members of tribal communities. And the US government cannot solve problems that we are not honest about. And so that's why one of the things that we say at the Department of Labor is we can't build equity if we are not clear-eyed about where there's been inequity. Um, so one of the first things that I did when I uh, came to the Department of Labor was to make sure that when we look at jobs numbers and unemployment numbers, that we do that in a way that is disaggregated for various communities, including the American Indian and Alaska Native community. So now, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is really the agency that's the gold standard for data about what's happening in the labor market, the BLS issues monthly data on how American Indians and Alaska Natives are faring. And a recent analysis found that the community has lower labor force participation and higher rates of unemployment compared to the overall population. And the unemployment rate is higher in places like federal or state American Indian reservations compared to those who do not live in these communities. So the Biden-Harris administration is serious about rewriting that narrative, about writing a new story. And we want each of you to help us in this new chapter. That means strengthening our workforce system and doing so together. So I think of our workforce system as infrastructure too. You've heard a lot about infrastructure here. The workforce system is also roads and bridges. It's the roads and bridges that connect people to the good jobs that they want and need and employers to the people that they want and need. And you've already heard how the Biden-Harris administration is investing in infrastructure for Indian country, like new roads and bridges, like affordable high-speed internet, and making sure that clean water flows from every faucet. And now we need to make sure that our workforce infrastructure system is as strong as our physical roads and bridges. So that the jobs that we are creating are being created in Indian country, that those are good jobs, and that the community has access 
to those good jobs. That means that investing in proven models like registered apprenticeship programs, like Cecilia had. It also means programs that are training people for opportunities in their communities so that people don't have to leave their communities in order to get a good job. And if the workforce system is like infrastructure, registered apprenticeships are like super highways. We're also working alongside tribes to better prepare native youth for jobs in growing industries, because many of the jobs that we are talking about right now do not require a college degree. So as we do this, we are making sure that we recognize um, and respect tribal sovereignty in everything that we do. So with input from tribal leaders, we now have a policy that makes clear that for any action that affects federally recognized tribes, the Department of Labor will engage in government-to-government -government consultation. And we also have a new tribal consultation training course internally for all of the Department of Labor staff who work directly with tribal nations or whose work um, affects policies that impact your communities. And finally, we have a newsletter that is directed at tribal communities to make sure that you are aware of things like funding opportunities and the technical assistance and support that we offer to make sure that you can access those opportunities. So if you are not already hearing from us, let me know and I'll make sure that you get that newsletter. As President Biden says, a good job is about more than a paycheck. Good jobs bring dignity and respect they sustain families, and they build strong communities today and for the future. So as we write this new story together, please know that the Department of Labor will be right by your side to fulfill the promise of bringing good jobs to every community. And I look forward to continuing this conversation with you in the breakout session. Thank you so much.